Dr. Brennan, how do you test small children, um, you know, um, maybe even babies or, or right above babies, um, in terms of like their vision? Uh, they, you know, if they can't read, they can't tell you what, what's going on. Um, how, how, how do you test them? Because if they are short-sighted or long-sighted, whatever the heck it is, if they have whatever eye problem, it's still handicapping them negatively. In fact, I have heard many times um, that in kindergarten and stuff, children behave funny uh, when it was down the road that they witnessed that the child had actually uh, visual problems. Um, is there anything we can do to test those children? Well, when a child is old enough to make a choice and understand this game, um, we can do a broken wheel test if they don't know their letters yet. So we show them pictures of cars, and we teach them at a close range where we're pretty sure that they can see uh, and make sure they understand which one has the broken wheel. Then we walk to the other end of the room and ask them to point at the car with the broken wheel. So can you tell me which one has the broken wheel? Is that focused enough? Well, if I put my glasses on, I might. <laughs> <laughs> the lower one has the broken How's wheel. That? Right. So you could have guessed that right, and so we do the best out of four to kind of eliminate the odds that they're just guessing and getting it right. And if they can get three out of four, then we know they're at least that level of acuity. So we know you're at least a 2060. <laughs> that would be equivalent of a 2060 letter. Another way, um, a baby will look toward what is the most interesting. And so we can show a baby a series of black stripes with white stripes um, compared with just a gray scale square on the other side, kind of like a peekaboo card. So we got a square on one side that's stripes, a square that's just plain, and, a, and then we peek through the hole to see which one interests them. And the baby will be more interested in the stripes if they can see it and then the gray scale. And we keep getting smaller and smaller stripes until um, they can't tell the difference, and then that's their acuity. Problem is, you know, keeping them from being too fussy and keeping them interested during that time. Right. Another way is a candy bead test where you take just a simple decoration for a cupcake. The little dot ones are equivalent to 2020 at near, and you put some in one hand, you know, a couple in one hand and the other hand's empty. A baby will look at the one that's the most interesting. So at near, you can check their vision by a candy bead, and if they like to look at the one with the beads in it and that, find that more interesting, you know they can see it. Beautiful, beautiful. Wow, that's a, that's a nice, interesting little tidbits on, uh, you know, how to get around and, and make sure that they are seeing. Because I suppose it is important that uh, small children um, run around with a, with a good vision, is it? Very important. In fact, uh, infant C is a movement right now in optometry where doctors sign up to agree to give eye exams for babies one year and under for free, even if they're insured with their vision plan. They don't charge even though they have insurance and make sure that each eye can see well and that um, they might, there's one type of cancer that only happens in children. Try to screen them out for that type of cancer um, and screen them out if their eyes might not be coordinating together like a team so that um, they develop properly as they grow. So it's a very good service that opt many optometrists are giving across the country now. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful prevention. Prevention, you know, a pound, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure, right, I guess? Yeah. <laughs> wonderful. Okay. Well, you know, it, it, even though some of, this, some of this stuff cannot be cured uh, as such with the eye in optometry, at least you have a supplement such as the eyeglass or the lens that then um, A, it doesn't get worse, and B, most importantly, really, that life becomes livable, yeah? Uh, I mean, if, yeah. you know, if you run around in a fog, literally, uh, I mean, that just can't be good for relationships, for, for absolutely nothing, right? I mean, you just, you can learn, you can study, you can do your work, you're slow, you are, you, um, you know, you look dumb because simply you are. I mean, if you don't understand things, if you don't see things, if you can't read things, uh, um, you know, if you can't sit at a Starbucks and pick up the paper and, and, and read it, um, it, it, it just, it just, life doesn't become, 
you know, you're not part of life as much. Uh, so with no doubt, um, um, it, it's wonderful that um, so much progress has been made there that we can actually see again, whether it's with an aid yeah. or, or getting it back. I mean, you know, uh, it's really not such a bad thing to, I mean, it, you know, fashion. I mean, classes are, you know, saying, Scott, I mean, when I, when I was really, really small, we still were like, you know, dating a girl with classes or being dated when you are, with, when, when you, when you own, when you have classes as a boy. That was still like, that was like, oh my God, I, I, I lost already at least one or two strikes out there. You understand? Know I'm, I'm already way behind the ball <laughs> if, if that's where the case, but that's not at all anymore the case. You understand? Know uh, I mean, they make the classes so gorgeously looking that, uh, you really actually want them, yeah? It's like a fashion statement. Absolutely. <laughs> and also not the same yeah. time they help you. Yeah, a lot of times we can scope across the eye because little children can't say which is better, like the typical way we do a refraction uh, mm -hmm. to figure out your glasses prescription. We click lenses in front and say which is better, one or two. Well, little children, invariably, they almost like the second one better all the time. No matter what you do, you can go up and they like it all the way that way, and you can go down in power and they like it that way too. So we have to have other techniques to decide if they need a, you know, a prescription or not. And we have a way where we shine lights at their pupil, and the light we see coming back out of their pupil um, moves a certain direction. And if it moves with Against the motion, it would kind of look like that. We move our instrument one way, but the light goes the opposite way. It's kind of like scissors. Or if it's with motion, the light goes the same thing we're doing. And that tells us which way we need to move the lenses until the light fills up their whole pupil. And when we wiggle our light, it doesn't move at all. That's called neutrality, and that means we found their prescription. So we can figure out if they're farsighted, if they're nearsighted, estimate very closely to exactly the prescription that they need. Auto refractors do similar things too, but we, with little children, we like to double check with our manual one as well. And we can prescribe glasses without them ever telling us which was better, one or two. Great. And help them a lot. And do you, do you see them brightening up? Do the parents see them all of a sudden being more pro-life, more proactive, and just participating oh, in life? Oh, yes. More? A lot of parents come back and say they they grab their glasses first thing in the morning, and um, you can tell that they've adapted. And with little tiny children like that that can't tell me which is better, one or two, I like to, after their glasses are dispensed, I like to have them back within a month to make sure how they're adapting, you know, do they act like they hate their glasses, do they act like they love them, and just scope and double check over their glasses to make sure that the glasses are right, because you don't want them, um, their parents forcing them to wear their glasses if they're not quite right, and and we're not always perfect, you know, we're not right. God, so it's good to double check and uh, right. just make sure. Thank you very much, appreciate your informative.